Okay, uh, here today we're on the last stage. Uh, we just over here a few seconds ago, and uh, we uh, will talk here to the overall winner uh, of the three day of the Tour of Ulster, Amber Green Tour of Ulster, of course. And it couldn't go to a better man than Owen Martin. Owen, well done. Uh, thanks very much, Danny. I'm uh, wrecked. <laughs> Plain and simple, I am seriously tired. Well, if any of the young kids have been watching this tour, if you talk about teamwork today, we saw what teamwork is about. Is that not right, Owen? Oh, the guys were they're simply unbelievable. They like they rode their rear ends off um, when it came. Like the break went with Robert John in the first lap, and we were suffering from the gun. Um, you know, we, we've been trying hard all weekend with the guys. You know, Keane O'Reilly, Ian Richardson, Louis Carnick. They were all. They were just super, super. Conor Mernan as well. Like he's only just upgraded to A1, and he's here in the team, and he's right in the front. And like one of the biggest stage races of the year. So the guys were super strong, and I, I owe everything to them. Without them, there's no way I would have won it. No way. Uh, I'm an admirer for a few years of yourself, uh, Owen. Uh, I know you from the track as well. You know where you going quite well as well. Then you had a bit of a spell. You went up to America, I think, uh, for a, a few races uh, with the track as well. You know, uh, yeah, yeah. and uh, you're just an all rounder are you? Yeah, I just enjoy racing. I prefer to be racing than training. Um, I, I love, I actually love the track. It, it's kind of a shame I don't get to do much more of it. You know, there's no track here. But look, that's a conversation for another day. But like, look, we're the, the quality of racing in Ireland. It's like it really is. It's it's people mightn't think it's a, it's the highest level, but it is su super high. Like it's, and you only realise it when you go away to a, a foreign race, and you, yeah. you realise what the Conti riders and the pro Conti riders are. Yeah. They're nothing special in yeah. comparison. Like. Yeah. Most of them can't climb as, as fast as Mark Dowling, and none of them can sprint as fast as Matteo, you well, know. So, uh, top five in the continent, uh, top five here is, is maybe top 30 in the continent. Exactly, you know? yeah. So, they, you know, you're, you're, you're mixing it in, in, in the front of the races, and it's like we, we raced a, a UCI uh, 1.2 or 1.1. Last year in Philadelphia, and I, I wasn't blown away by the, how good the riders were. So, yeah, they, I have to hats off to everybody, um, all the guys racing in the domestic scene. It's, they're really, really impressive. And then also just an, a kind word: the, the organisation for the Amber Green um, Energy Tour of Ulster. They're unbelievable. They really make a show here in Moy every year, so it's great to see it, and it's they put on a, a brilliant one. Yeah, uh, the course today was uh, quite beautiful as well, with the sunshine going and uh, all that. You know, the, the course, but you probably didn't notice that. Yeah, um, I don't know if I'd call it beautiful. I was uh, filling the sunglasses with sweat. Um, it was seriously hard, but. Um, yeah, look, it was nice that it was a sunny day. It would have been a little bit harder on a rainy day, for, and especially that the wind wasn't so high. Um, it made my teammates be able to do what they could for me. It was, you know, it's unbelievable. I'm absolutely delighted to take home the win. Now, on the last question, uh, uh, what's your next uh, goal now? Because I think the Ross is coming up very soon now. Yeah, definitely. The Ross is the biggest goal every year, every other race. And reality for me is a training race. And the form is good at the moment, so I'm, I'm really, really happy. I've, you know, usually I, usually I come to this race and I'm kind of lacking a little bit of form. I gain, gain a bit of form out of it and then I head on to the Ross. But I seem to be a couple of weeks ahead of ahead of form, which is really, really good. So hopefully we can head into the Ross and do something. And would you just pick up your jersey one and just show it to uh, our viewers here? Uh, there's a few thousand of viewers anyway, so uh, you will be known very well. But uh, just to show the sponsors as well. of the What a nice jersey, isn't it? Anyway, uh, Owen. Yeah, premium big. Yeah. Well, it suits for some men. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, uh, uh, well done, Owen. Uh, great. I uh, talked to you yesterday morning, and I knew there was something special coming up for you. Well, we saw it today. Well, well done. And yesterday, especially yesterday, and fair, fair play of what you've done on the line here, because you invited that man to take over because he helped you to get there. Yeah. He didn't take it. I don't understand. But anyway, uh, not many riders will do that. Mostly they will promise. But at the end, you know, the, the promise going out, out, as you know, you know, so uh, that was fair play. It's, uh, it's great for the lads, the young lads, especially now who are looking, you know, follow a man like that, you cannot go far wrong. Okay, Owen, thanks very much. Okay, right.